here's why I employ virtual workers hey are you thinking about hiring some virtual employees or maybe you want to be a virtual employee well you're gonna to want to watch this video to the very end because I'm gonna give you all the reasons why virtual employees are the wave of the future and we're starting right now hey I'm JR Fisher welcome to my channel thank you so much for being here and checking out this video I'll make it worth your while do me a favor while you're here make sure you subscribe hit that subscribe button down there don't forget to turn on notifications the bell notifications there's gonna be a bell that's gonna pop up next to that subscribe button you want to smash it you want to hit it and you're gonna hear that sound just like that no I swear really try it you'll see and when you do that you'll become part of the Fisher family the VIP group that gets notified every single time I do a video that's pretty cool stuff right you'll be in front of the line you don't miss out on nothing okay so make sure you do that now the thing we're here to talk about today is making money online now I've been selling online since 2009 and I've sold millions of dollars of both digital and physical products and I love virtual employees uh, I've employed tons of them over the years and they usually do a pretty darn good job for me but what is this thing called virtual employees and why is it more prevalent well first off let's take a look at what happens in the world you know major world events can really change the way we do business back in World War II women were thought of as secretaries or nurses if they did any type of jobs at all but that all changed during World War II because all of a sudden they were needed for defense jobs they were needed for manufacturing and the women stepped in and they did all those jobs that were historically thought of for just men all of a sudden women were accepted in the workforce and we understood that they were just as valuable as any man and as the years went on all of a sudden they got into all kinds of occupations they're now in engineering and doctors and astronauts and anything a man can do and I used to kid around with my daughter I said you know women can do anything a man can do plus they can have babies so you know the women can do all these different things that, and it changed the workforce that World War II literally changed the workforce and it changed the position of women in our workforce which was a pretty cool thing now we've recently experienced a little thing you may have heard about it called a pandemic okay and this pandemic has actually changed our workforce again it's made us rethink going to offices being stuffed in a building with hundreds or thousands of people and spreading germs and it made us do things differently now this may blow your mind but in a recent survey according to some estimates 91 percent of hr leaders have said that their companies have some type of virtual workers at home telecommuting okay so it has really changed the landscape of the workforce at this point now as somebody who started their business in 2009 selling things online I saw the benefits of working at home or working virtually I can work in a coffee shop I can work in a hotel lobby I can work on a beach a cruise ship anywhere I want to work as long as I have an internet connection now if you're watching this video you probably get that you probably see the benefits of that and there are a lot of benefits from being able to work from just about anywhere and you know even before the pandemic we were kind of seeing this anyhow we've seen a 173 percent increase from 2005 to 2008 in stay-at-home workers or virtual workers matter of fact a 2018 survey showed that at least 52 percent of all workers in the world work from home at least one day a week a website called upwork has predicted that 73 percent of all teams will have stay-at-home workers or virtual workers by the year 2028 so what I'd like to do is I'd like to go through some of the reasons why we should have virtual workers okay now the first reason is it makes employees happy yeah it makes them happy don't you want happy people working for you I mean they've got a balance of supermarkets and work and money and love and relaxation and family and if they can work from home they can better manage their time which makes them happier people now according to a 2019 owl lab survey 83 percent of full-time workers said they would be happier if they could just work from home and 91 percent of the people that were polled who work from home say it affords them a better life work balance and a full 86 percent said it reduced stress when they didn't have to travel to and from a job and they were more relaxed to get this another 77 percent said they were healthier they were able to eat better and exercise by being able to work at home 
in addition to that it, it saved them money i mean the average worker in the u.s spends anywhere from twenty five hundred to four thousand dollars a year just traveling to and from a job now we're all going through this pandemic thing and 98 percent of the people who have been in a job in an office and put at home to do remote work 98 percent of them said they would rather stay at home and do their work from there number two it boosts retention employees say they would be less likely to leave their employers matter of fact 77 percent said that if they could work from home they'd be less likely to leave their job i want you to think about that because if they're less likely to leave their job that means you don't have to keep hiring people and training people which costs you a lot of money so it actually saves you money too number three it reduces the competition for talent now think about this not everybody can travel to a job not everybody has a car not everybody has the ability to leave home maybe they have small children maybe they have a family member they're taking care of but they may make excellent employees for you they just can't get to you if you could employ them from home it's going to open up your talent pool and give you access to more talented people that can work for you and help your business number four it can reduce your company costs you think about that if i have to hire an employee i've got to buy this desk here and i've got to give them a computer and i've got to put lights in and heat and air conditioning and you know spend money for a space for them to work out of if I hire a virtual employee I save all those costs all those costs are saved and I can pass those on to the employee and hire a better employee or pay them more make them happier okay and I am saying share that with them okay don't try to pay them the same amount however a lot of employees have said if they could work from home they would actually take less pay to have the advantage of working from home now I don't believe in doing that I want them to make a really really good living so you know I'd like to just pay them a little bit more however if you want to hire people cheaper some of them say they would actually work for you at a lesser amount of pay they would take less vacation they would take less employee 401k matching if they were able to work from home number five it protects the environment during covid they say it took 10 million cars off the road our our polluted air cleared up our our streams cleared up you know birds started coming out our vegetation started growing it did wonders for the environment imagine if we could stick to that and have fewer people on the roads and fewer cars and less congestion and less pollution number six it can boost performance a lot of you think oh if i have somebody work from home they're not going to work as hard most employees felt like they could actually get more done they had less distractions than being in an office i mean if you think about it it enables them to personalize their workspace okay they can have the pictures of their family and do what they want they don't have people coming in their office and disturbing them they don't have other employees problems being dragged through their office and stories being told and you know all the political stuff that goes on working in an office environment when they're at home they're actually more productive guys number seven you got to have the tools okay if you're going to employ people People at home um, that's fine and I think it's a great thing but you gotta have the right tools you got to have you know maybe you got to have zoom maybe you have to have a sauna to schedule all the tasks that type of thing you have to have fast internet connections you have to have a way to communicate throughout the day so all of these tools need to be in place to make that employee productive at home too and number eight I would tell you gradually switch over to virtual employees um, if you've had an office for years and you had 10 people in there and you just send everybody home you're gonna have some management problems okay you're definitely gonna have some management problems you're gonna have to put in new systems you're gonna have to gradually do it maybe they start out at one day a week or you know in the mornings they work at home and they come in, in the afternoon but certain things you're gonna have to get in place it's not as easy as hey everybody go home and work now uh, I know with my employees they have manuals they have you know training videos we do meetings you know online so you can't just put somebody at home and never meet with them and not check and see what they're doing and not talk to them about what they need because if they feel like they're not getting what they need then they're going to become unhappy and you won't have a productive employee so you want to always check in with them and say what can I do for you you know what do you need and keep in mind as an employer your job is not to order people around and have them do stuff for you your job is to support somebody to help them build your business okay you got to think of them as a real asset because they are without them you're not going to be able to get anywhere okay you've got to make sure you help them you got to make sure you give them the tools you got to make sure you give them support you got to make sure you pat them on the back every now and then all these things are super important especially if they're going to work from home a parting word you know the pandemic's been really bad a lot of people's lost their lives and a lot of people are sick and it's disrupted our economy and all that 
but what can you take positive from it what can you what can you change in your life what can you do to make it positive you know maybe you know you can exercise more maybe you can eat better maybe you can hire virtual employees um, and support them and it's it's going to change our landscape okay it's just the way it is it's not going to go back to the way it was before a lot of people are going to work from home now a lot of virtual employees it's going to change i don't know maybe the commercial real estate market maybe there's not going to be as many offices um, i don't know how it's going to change but i know it's going to change once you introduce people to doing something a different way a lot of them are going to like it and want to stick with it so you got to kind of go with the flow if you haven't considered virtual employees before i would suggest you check it out okay because you could probably do it certain services aren't going to be able to be done that way um, but you know certain will you know some people say well you still got to go into a restaurant and have a waiter wait on you a lot of people have chose not to go to restaurants a lot of people have chose to have food delivered to them now that has changed a lot of people who go to the restaurants now don't want to deal with a person because they're worried about infection so maybe there's going to be ipads on the table to order your food that type of thing maybe there's going to be fewer employees out there and they're just going to be bringing food out to people they're not going to be going around taking orders and all that maybe you can put your order in on a you know like i say an ipad and get your drinks and get your dessert and all that you're seeing this in restaurants already i've been seeing it for years going in that direction our way of living is going to change so if you're in one of those jobs where it looks like it's getting phased out you may want to check out my course which is below it's a 97 dollars course and it teaches you how to do stuff online and make money it's 97 dollars course but you can get it free right now by just clicking the link don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button down there comment below let me know what you thought of this video let me know of any ideas you have for videos any questions you may have i'll be happy to check it out and maybe i'll do a video based on your idea don't forget subscribe ring the bell gotta ring the bell ring the bell why so you get notifications so be in front of the line so be part of the fisher family so you'll be a vip look at all the benefits all those benefits from one little thing smashing a bell that's all you got to do check out this video here too it'll really help you out and help you grow your business thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one